Okay, so everyone's probably wondering, you know, I just bought Modern Warfare 3 for the PC. I'm a PC gamer and it has no controller support. I went through the same issue. After days of searching, I found this little joy right here. Ironically named Joy to Key. Joy to Key is a free software, okay? If you are a constant PC gamer like myself, you'll see, and I'm switching over to my secondary monitor here, that I have an endless array of games, okay? I've had this problem with not only Modern Warfare 3, but also Star Trek Legacy. Uh, I also had it with Singularity. And actually, Battlefield 3, that has great controller support, um, has pretty much its own game mapping software within. However, all of the keys do not work for certain actions. For instance, if you jump and you parachute, the A button works as a spacebar. But if you're repelling, since that action has not been input into the game mapping for the keystrokes on your controller pad, then it doesn't work. You know, when you're in combat, you have to push the E, which is the B on an Xbox 360 PC wireless. It doesn't work. So, what you do is you open up your Joy to Key. For instance, Battlefield 3, I only have a few keystrokes used. That way, B is going to be E all the time. Okay, A is going to be the space bar all the time. All right. Now, if you want to make sure, if you want to make sure that your controller, or you want to know what button is which. Then the main thing that the great the greatest thing about Joy to Key rather is that no matter what you do, if you move a button, it is gonna show it to you. Okay. It's gonna light up, it's gonna highlight, and that's the best thing about it. Okay. If you scroll down here, looking for instance, you see I'm pushing the A button and button one is coming to button two is B. So whatever button you push, you will know what button that corresponds to on your gamepad. Okay. As you can see, I only have a few maps because this is for my Battlefield 3 profile. In your options, make sure that all your axes are showing because if not, your left and right triggers will not show up so that you can map them and that will be like infuriating. Modern Warfare 3. Okay. Your stick too, your right stick usually, you know, depending on how you like to use your gamepads, is going to be mapped to your mouse, okay? So for instance, you just double click anything like this is stick to to the left. So you would make sure to hit your mouse tab and then just move it all the way to the left. And then if you were to go to the right, the, to the stick to to the right, move it all the way to the right, okay? Stick to up, see? Leave this alone all the way up, okay? For instance, I was telling you about the axis. Here's my left trigger, right? Has to be the mount right, the right mouse click rather. So mouse, and then check off the right click. Reason being is because um, that's your aim, and you know you that's usually what you aim with in the FPSs, first person shooters. Um, and basically, you can map these things however you want. You know, it, it takes a little bit of playing around with, but you know, it, it is what it is. Now, also one big note that I wanted to let you guys know is. As you can see, like I said, no shortage of games, right? However, however, and please do not forget this because I've learned this the hard way a few times. Games like Prototype, Alice Madness Returns, phenomenal game by the way, as well as Prototype and Homefront and Black Ops. But back to the point is that for any of these games, like this one and this one, this one, this one, which is Grand Theft Auto um, episodes from Liberty City, Crisis 2, Battlefield 3 mostly, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2, Saints Row the 3rd. Okay, if you are using games that already had the controller mapping software performed flawlessly and you have Joy to Key running, it will interfere with it, I promise you. Your, either your movement will be choppy, your buttons won't work right because you have an active profile going on. All right, so I would make sure you exit this. I used to run it at startup, learned my lesson on that. Okay, so be careful because if you do all your settings the way I have, You'll start it, and then it'll be right here in my taskbar. I just right-click it, and I, you know, I would pick, you know, whatever profile I want to be running at that time. If I'm not going to be using it, terminate. It. Man, I'm telling you, terminate it because if you start a game that you don't need it for, it's going to drive you insane, and I guarantee you won't realize it at first. Okay. Uh, anybody's looking for my system specs, you know, as far as similarity, similarity and comparison, 
um, Intel 7 processor, as you can see, eight processors here. Okay, uh, it's, um, let me go to my computer here. And right here, Windows 7 Home Premium, SP1, 64-bit system, eight gigs of RAM. Um, these are my hard drives. They're not partitions, they are hard drives. This one is a terabyte. Okay, this is where I keep, you know, Audacity, audio files, my uh, hypercat videos that I'll be uploading, pictures, movies, magazines, and books. My B is just for TV because it takes up so much room. Okay, C of course, in any Microsoft machine, for the most part, it's going to be what? My program files and things of that nature. D is my games and operating systems. Okay. Um, e is, you know, icons, themes, software, orbs, widgets, gadgets, and my backup image, which is very important. And F is just 500 gigs of empty space. This is a terabyte, barely used. This is a terabyte, about halfway used, terabyte, about halfway used, just endless media. You know, this is another 500 gigs that, you know, has a lot of games and stuff in it, two disk drives. So, you know, this is, like I said, your computer does not have to look like this or match my computer in any way. Like I said, some people just like to view and compare. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and, you know, let me know and I'll always do my best to look. Um, any other questions, like I said, just let me know. Thanks.